Hello, hello. This is Atomic Saunders here, aka Jason Saunders. Um, and I thought I would give you all a quick little studio tour of, you know, where I spend my days. And uh, so here I got uh, some Whippet sculptures that I'm going to be offering up for sale soon. Been uh, They're all freshly painted and touched up. The Whippet tank. Actually, this one's backwards. It goes that way. Um, yeah. And I got the Whippet copter. Yeah, let's turn that around. Oops, that's not good. Some bronzes I cast last year. The old uh, gun in flower. This is a, a uh, well, it's kind of a sunflower from Hungary. And then I cast this one as there. It's a toy. I made a mold of it and uh, and attached this. Here's one with some some roses on there, some poetry. It's not an original theme, but uh, I like it. It's inspired me. Here is the base of my my future mailbox. I'll show you the, the top in a second. But this is what it's looking like right now. And let's see if I could put it in here. It will not go here in the end. There we go. Let's see if I can step back. Yeah. It will not go here in the end. It's going to go in some concrete or maybe a big river rock. Um, but yeah, these are just table legs that I, I find chairs on the side of the street and wanted to repurpose them. And yeah, a lot of them have some, uh, some cool detail. I like artwork that has another story, previous story. This is uh, the most recent Whippet creature. It's actually been a few years since I've been done any Whippet creatures. By the way, anyone who's wondering about them, no, I do not do Whippets. But I know people who do. And they have been generous in giving me these little, these little uh, elements so that I could weld into other things and make more interesting artistic uh, things. And so this is some kind of like weird flower alien thing with a, a tank body. Um, it's going to be all painted when it's, when it's done, kind of like, like the ones I was showing you over here. And actually it's kind of a, when I think about it, it's a blend between, you know, how this is like violence, you know, or a gun shooting and it shoots a flower. It's an old 60s theme um, for artwork, I think. Um, but anyways, this is kind of the same thing. I know I think about it because it's a, it's a tank and the tort coming out of it is this crazy abstracted alien flower thing. So artwork does not pay my bills. And uh, one of the things I do to make a living is fabrication. So here is something I'm in the middle of. It's from one of my long-term clients. It's going to be brass plated uh, when it's done. It's still in progress. And yeah, tools, welders, clamps. I have a lot of clamps. This is not even all the clamps. They're um, Oh man, especially when you're working by yourself or you're, they're just like extra hands. Totally recognize uh, the value in them. And uh, yeah, flammables, cabinet, spray paint, and cleaners and stuff. Yeah, and this is the remnants of the, um, the uh, what do you call it? The music, music Center project for Mandy Palasik, at least the parts that are there. So after that temporary public art project was done, um, I disassembled it and stored it as best I can, and I've been trying to slowly utilize these, these parts. It's a bender. This is my currently non-functioning plasma table. 
and uh, I've been knocking my head trying to figure out what's wrong. I suspect that there's something wrong with this box, namely the connection in the front. So I think soon I'm gonna order a second one and just to have a extra plasma cutter on hand for, you know, I got a big project coming up that has a lot of plasma cutting. And if I could um, use a second machine and that solves the problem, this one's still under warranty and then I know it's this one that's the problem and I could send it back. Um, yeah, oh my God, it's plasma cutting, plasma table, CNC. There's so many things that can go wrong. But yeah, here's a part of my nut and bolt collection. As you can see, I'm really good at shutting the drawers when, after I'm looking for stuff. Yeah. Oh, check this out. This, this is the top of the mailbox over here. And um, thanks to some help from my assistant, Jason Greenlee, he's an awesome guy. Uh, we've been working on this off and on the last couple of weeks. But uh, it's all like, you know, like curved and very non, I mean, you know, we kind of wanted this uh, bent up shack <laughs> kind of thing. Or not, that's not the right word. Uh, maybe one of you guys will tell me what, how to describe this this old house. And I just made this, this cool little um, bent chimney for the back. So yeah, anyways, this is a mailbox and it's gonna go on the curb. And here is the lid for the mailbox. So it opens like that. Hopefully the handle is pretty obvious. I'm gonna have the word mail right across the top in big letters as soon as I get my CNC going again. And then I think in here, I'm gonna write the words um, you know, across the back. I have some metal. It's just like a little metal wall. So hopefully the mail will slide down and under. And it's just a little harder for people to abscond with my mail. But anyways, right across here, right where the mail carrier will see it, I wanna have the words thank you. And then hopefully um, a little bit of positive energy. Uh, will brighten their day. Uh, yeah, it's got a little lock. That's what it looks like inside kind of thing. But yeah, it's still a work in progress. Um, some crooked windows. But yeah. Um, this is my favorite saw. It's a wonderful cold cut saw. Stomp shear. And then here on the wall is an old piece. It's at least a decade old. That's one of my first big collages, um, maybe even 15 years old. I don't, not sure exactly. It's been around for a minute, but it's huge. It's really big. Um, I'm gonna guess it's about 12 feet tall. And uh, here, in order to get the whole thing, I have to step back. Uh, Richard Collins suggested in one of my recent videos, hey, I can't see the whole thing because it's your panning back and forth. <laughs> so anyways, now I'm stepping back and you can kind of see the whole thing. It's, uh, yeah, I, I did it a long time ago, but uh, what I like to do is clean it up and rehab it, refurbish it. Um, I'm not so happy with the edges and uh, I like to make it more refined. Okay, oh, in case you're wondering what this is, they're, they're lottery ticket scratchers. And there are hundreds of them, thousands maybe. Uh, and I've got them all arranged by color and just making these geometric patterns. Um, a lot of people say it looks kind of like, uh, like Aztec to them, Aztec calendar. But really my inspiration was, and that's cool, everyone brings their own thing to an art. I mean, everyone brings their own experiences and interpretation to an artwork, but for, uh, my inspiration was these, uh, these sand paintings, these mandala sand paintings made by Buddhist monks and um, kind of working off one of those patterns. So yeah, what I'm doing, I'm gonna do next is, I've added some like metal trim, so I, I kind of would like to add some more metal trim and just, you know, just make it a little bit more refined. Uh, but that's an off again, on again project. 
I've got a few of those pieces that I made years ago, and then, and then you know, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, they're still around the studio, whatnot. And I always want a little more, do a little more on it, make it a little better, a little cooler. And here's the little guy I cast in Hungary. Um, I think it was two years ago, and uh, maybe one year ago. I'm not sure. But yeah, little bronze. I recently like took him out of the garden and polished him up with some some linseed oil on him with a little bit of pigment and um, focus, focus, focus. Anyways, you have to. Um, here's another project that I've been kind of picking up, putting down. A good friend of mine asked me to make him a um oh i'm brain farting on the on the term not a chandelier but uh not, not a sconce but uh, a piece that hangs over like a table um, anyway so this is a lighting element and i am currently uh he asked me to make it and then after a few years he gave it back um and i'm so grateful because I love it, <laughs> and I'm I'm really thankful for the opportunity to improve it and make it better. And um, so, anyways, I'm in the middle of rewiring it and putting in new LED lights. And one of the things I'm discovering is that there are some hot spots where you kind of see where it's really hot. Um, this is this is acrylic plastic um, that I've cut down, cut in shapes, and then, but. It, if it's just the right distance away, the whole thing should be glowing. And I don't want it to reveal itself as a LED. But, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to place it in the perfect space. But you get the idea. So anyways, yeah, February 2023. Oh, how time passes. And this is where I spend my days. And um, I hope you dig it. All right, wishing you all very happy, healthy, wise lives. This is, uh, I'm going to say, Atomic Saunders. My name is Jason Saunders, but there's other Jason Saunders out there. Very popular name, so I'm going to go with that. All right, cheerio, mates.